Welcome to the very first episode of Deep Down Under. I thought I'd kick the channel off with a memorable dive that I had quite some time ago, but it was a really good dive that stayed in the memory bank. Oh, they want the big fighting for ages! Yeah, boy! Woo! Oh, sick day! We had uh, two things on the agenda. It was crayfish and flathead. This was a dive before I got into crayfish uh, hunting. I didn't really know anything about it. I was lucky I had a mate called Franco who I still dive with to this day. Very experienced diver, knows what he's doing. Uh, he promised he'd teach me how to do it and, and uh, find my first crayfish. He also knew that I was after a big flathead. I'd got a few smaller ones around the 45 centimeter range, but I hadn't actually landed a big one. I lost an opportunity where I shot one and actually rebounded off the skull. I'll roll that clip now for you. Anyway, let's jump straight in. So Franco handed me the torch and I took a big breath and I went down in search of my first cray. Too small, but you can call my first try, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Legend. We'll get the odd star. Well, the man of the moment had found another one. So Franco went down a couple times, sussed out the cray and the hole that it was in. Uh, then he came up and gave me a rundown and a few tips on how to grab it. He got in. Just feel the heck of it out. He's only got short whiskers, so it looks like they grow back, so someone's trying to grab them off. But um, it's, it's a tight little hole, but if you breach it, you'll feel it. Just grab one that hoard and pull it out. I took the torch off him and I went down in search of my very first cray, hoping to come back up with a legal one. All right, with my first legal cray in the bag, it was time to go on the hunt for some flathead. So as I'm swimming along, I hear Franco's gun go off. So I make my way over to him, and it looks like he's on to a nice size flatty. Franco's mask took on a bit of water on the way up here, so he let go of the fish and went up and cleared his mask. And I dived down and, uh, and secured it for him. Hello, Spidey, man. We're swimming along. Five minutes later, I get a tap on the shoulder from Franco saying, there's one over here. I swim over, I took a big breath, I went down. This is what happened. I 
Franco goes down, checks that it's a secure shot, looks up, gives me the thumbs up. <laughs> oh, they want the big party for ages! Yeah, boy! Woo! Pretty special day, pretty special dive. Uh, but the dive wasn't over though. We still had to get out of there. The swell had pushed up and it made it really sketchy for getting out. So we went and sussed out where we jumped in, but yeah, it wasn't too nice. What's the best way out of here? nicked a bit of reef and I'd lost it so I'd lost my float and my grey measure up. You didn't even realise it must have come off. It was a bit unlucky but at the same time it was very lucky that I took a hold of the flathead and put it on my gun and swam in with it because if I hadn't have done that I would have lost the flathead as well. Hey, good man. I was very lucky that the, the, the crayfish was in Franco's bag and we didn't actually lose the, the crayfish either. That particular flathead fed me five times and it was by far the tastiest flathead that I've ever eaten. It was beautiful. I don't usually target flathead of this size and I haven't shot one that size or bigger since. I usually target the smaller ones and leave those breeders to breed. I actually kept the skull and rebuilt it. So if anyone's interested, and making their own skull. I'll put the description on how I did that below. All right, guys, that was the very first episode of Deep Down Under. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. It'll help me gauge early on whether people are enjoying this content. If people are enjoying the content, then I'll continue to make these videos. So until the next dive, guys, stay safe out there and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> Oh, sick down!